Hello everybody, Joe here, and happy Tuesday. I talk about minimalism and my health, and I just try to be raw and real and honest. Um, a few new people have subscribed to the channel, and I just want to say thank you so much and welcome. I really hope you continue to, um enjoy the videos I put out and of course to all my people who are already subscribed and who watch my videos and comment thank you so much um I recently had somebody say that they weren't able to comment on my videos and I don't know why that is because I haven't blocked anybody or like disabled anything so if you have problems um please let me know especially since I am getting more subscribers I want to be able to figure out how to fix that if people are having issues So for people who are new here, I have a chronic genetic condition called Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome and a lot of comorbidities, co-conditions that go along with it. And so it's like chronic pain and stuff. And so as far as health-wise for me, I've had a pretty good week. Um... And it's considered a rare condition, and so that's what the zebra means. And then I have lived minimally, and I have since I decluttered like 90% of my stuff back in the fall of 2016. Um, I know people put out, like, videos of what they're not buying anymore, or what they don't buy as a minimalist, and I absolutely love those videos. I think they're great. For me, personally, what I own changes as my wants and needs change. So, sorry about that. Um, so like for me, I try to do portion control and keep my portions small. So I just own small plates and small bowls because I find for me that if I own large plates and large bowls, I tend to want to eat too much or I do eat too much. So that's just something I've noticed. Um, another thing I've noticed is that my taste is I've always known that my taste is very eclectic, and I like a lot of things. I love a lot of things, but because I choose to mi live minimally, um, what I end up doing is like when something's worn out, it needs to be replaced. Or every few years, I'll like change something up and do something different in one spot. Like I'll change out my comforter, or I'll change out cups or mugs or something. But for the most part, my stuff stays the same. Um, let's see.
and then oh yeah so for me my practical side always wins out like it doesn't matter how much I love something or how cool I think something is if it's not practical for me if it doesn't make sense if it's not getting used enough then I don't keep it. I don't use it. I don't keep it. And I'm curious to know if anybody else is the same. If, I mean, I do have stuff that's sentimental that isn't practical that I do I have held on to. But for the most part for me, I'm not using it enough, but if it's not practical for me, I don't keep it. End of story. And I would love to know if anybody else is the same way. So, let's... You know what? I think I figured out how to turn the screen around. So let's try it. Oh my gosh, I can turn the screen around. This is amazing. Okay, so I wanna give you guys an update on everything. So, this, if you've seen my space before, it looks the same. And I've got the chair with the ottoman. Closet. The light switch has been updated. So, here's my closet. It's kind of a disaster right now. And that plastic, that plastic bag and that paper bag is stuff I'm getting rid of. And then... Dishes, blender, paper stuff when I have company over. Coffee cabinet. Pantry. And this shelf I reserve for like, when I have like, it's not food that I can necessarily eat, some of it. So stuff I have for like if I have people over, it's stuff they can have. I mean there are a couple things on here that I can have too, but basically it's when I have company over. Um, the vinegar. I want to move under the kitchen sink because I use that for cleaning. But yeah. That, and then that's just extra jars and containers and stuff up there. And then... Dish rack, sink, hand soap, dish soap. So, keep things clean. I do use paper towels, but usually little paper towels last me like a few months. Because for me, I use it to clean the toilet. Because using anything else just grosses me out. I need to be able to clean the toilet and throw it away. So there's that. Um, I... This is my utensil drawer. I did get a cheese grater because I prefer grated cheese on my salads. And I prefer to grate the cheese myself. So, because I find that already grated cheese just doesn't agree with me for some reason. I don't know what it is. 
so see basic measuring cups and stuff back there and then pots and pan cutting boards bowl colander This is cleaning supplies, trash bags, bags, you know, stuff to maintain the apartment, the space, and crock pot and a tray. And then hand drying towel, this drying towel. So, this is what minimal flatware looks like for me. I do four of each because if I, my stamina's not great and I don't get to my dishes, I don't run out. But also, since I usually only have like one, two, three people over at a time, having this little silverware is just enough. I have special spoons, so like this is like if I, uh, friends have kids, so if they have like a little kid, I like these for coffee and ice cream, and then I have a big spoon for just scooping, and then this is a flatware. I take when I'm, it's like my going out flatware, I'm going on a picnic, I'm going out, and so it's like my usual reusable flatware, I just use it like a, and then this spoon was made by Union Mills Woodworking, and it's amazing and I love it, and so there's that. And then this is hand towels, dish drying towels, cloth napkins, of mitts. And then this is my glass Tupperware containers. So you've got bookshelf area, TV, bed, um, so I've got winter bedding in a box under the bed, I've got, like, paper and pens and envelopes and stuff in a box under the bed, and then the thing sticking out is going to a friend in another state. So, that's why I have it sitting out like that. And then this is bathroom. Um, once again, I keep it really simple. Towels here. An extra just trash can to keep by my chair when my stamina doesn't, just isn't there. And shower. Yeah, so that's that's the update two of my apartment. Um, this video was kind of a mix of everything, but I wanted to kind of share with you guys and update you guys and. All that good stuff. So anyway, please like, comment, subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram at Minimal Zebra. And I also have an email account. that, And I'll have both of those down below. I don't know how to link them, but I'll have them down below so you can save that information and find my email or find my Instagram if you want to do that. 
So I love you all. Have a great Tuesday. And see you next Tuesday.